What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, your man, Stokesy Camel 332. Back at it with another video. And today we're doing yet another toxic tier list ranking. Oh, yeah. And today we're going to be doing a toxic tier list ranking of a whole bunch of superheroes and supervillains from all sorts of comic books, mostly Marvel and DC, but there's some other people here and there. Uh, but before we get to the actual beginning of this large, large video, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel because number one, it's absolutely free, and number two, we're on the road to a thousand subscribers, just uh, 230 away now, and also maybe I'll the YouTube algorithm recommend it to more people, and maybe they could join the chat. Uh, but with that being said, guys, uh, also do feel free to comment your list down below. This is just my own list, so, uh, yeah, just would like to point that out, and, uh, but with that being said, guys, let's get ready to do <laughs> and let's show the categories first before we start ranking things. So, best of the best, which means, like, they're the best comic book heroes of all time, definitely up there for maybe, like, the best fictional characters of all time, and the overall, they're a 10 out of 10 character. All things considered. Great means they're close to best of the best, but there's a minor flaw holding them back from getting into best of the best. Toxic goodness means they're a good hero. They're good. Underrated means they're they are highly slept on. I don't and get a lot of hate and I don't understand the hate for them. Decent means they're 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 decent, but they're not near one of my favorites. Okay is like you're they're a mixed bag. You don't know what to think about them. Meh means meh like I don't know what to think of you. You're just very mid superhero. Who are you is who are you? Who are you? I don't know who you are. So that's what that category is for. I don't know means I know the character, but I don't know necessarily enough about the character to put them in a certain category. And Toxic Trash means dumpster fire. The worst um, um, superheroes and supervillains in all of media. Or media. Uh, and also, if you guys are wondering why I'm judging this off of, I'm judging off of everything, basically. So... I read, have read a few comics. I've read a few comics. I have a whole entire collection. It's just, I, I've read a few. I will, so I'm, I'll mostly be judging off the movies and TV shows, uh, and animated shows, but I will, if I know enough about their character in the comics, then I will put them in the list. So, uh, in the, in their categories. I'm just curious. Is there a, Certain, okay, I might change that a little bit later on into the tier list, but I think this tier list is missing someone. All right, starting off, we have Black Canary and uh, uh, -huh. uh, -huh. uh, -huh. uh Black Canary. Um, in all seriousness, seriousness though, I think she's in one of these three categories. Um, I think since we have a bunch of heavy hitters on here, I'm going to put Black Cat in the decent category. I think she's a decent superhero, you know? Uh, my favorite part about her probably is her relationship with Oliver Queen and, like, all the comic books, the animated movies, the animated show shows, and the Green Arrow show specifically. Their relationship's really nice. Uh, also, the... Um, the her She has a very unique power with the high high voltage high frequency scream i was trying to find the right wording there so there is a bunch of stuff there um also i think she's in, i i haven't seen it but she's in birds of prey i think the movie um so i bet she's probably good in that um she's a and also i have played with her character on injustice 2 at a friend's house a couple of times she's fun to use so i'll put her in decent next up we got Wakanda Forever, Black Panther. Mmm, Black Panther, Black Panther. Hmm. <sighs> this hurts me. Uh, I'll put him great. 
I don't want to put him best of the best because there's a bunch, as I said before, there's a bunch of heavy hitters on here. I don't think, I think, I still love Black Panther as a character. It's just, I don't gravitate towards him as much as all the other people in best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, the most memorable part for Black Panther for me, or most memorable performance, but yada, 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 like the or comic books, or whatever, my memories with him are Chadwick Boseman playing him in the Black Panther movie and Infinity War and Civil War, you know, uh, which Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, did a phenomenal job playing T'Challa. Also, I have a lot of fond memories from the, uh, this is a very underrated show, by the way, if you haven't seen it, I recommend it, it's on Disney+. Plus. Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, I have a lot of fond memories from the I think it was one or two episodes, I'm pretty sure, of the series where they go to Wakanda and Black Panther's having a battle with Manape, and basically, and he's trying to... Well, actually, no. His father is the Black Panther, and basically, T'Challa has to take over the mantle a little bit later on in the movie, and he eventually becomes friends with the Avengers. And pro Actually, I'll probably say that's my most fondest memory of this character is the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV show. Um, also, there's a bunch of key uh, storylines he goes through in the comics where he and Storm are together for um, one time, which that's interesting uh, for those who do not know who Storm is, X-Men. Um, so, well, I'm pretty sure if you guys came to this tier list, you probably know who Storm is. But uh, yeah, Black Panther goes into the great tier, a great superhero. Next up, we have our first villain of this video, right? Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, I forgot Black Canary was on this list. But we have Brainiac. And Brainiac is... Excuse me. I just burp. Um, where, oh, where do I put Brainiac? I'm not going to put him best in the best, but out of these two, where do I put him? He's not my favorite Superman villain, though. It's tough. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get some flack if I put him any lower. So I'll put Brainiac. I'll probably still get flack on this video. But Brainiac, I'll put in a great tier. Um, my most fond memory of his character is uh, Injustice 2. I played with his character a couple times. Uh, also, I would just like to point out as well, I have both for the Marvel and DC uh, characters. I have a Marvel and DC encyclopedia that I read fully, um, in the past, so I know a whole bunch about these characters. Brainiac is a character I would love to see in the new DC, new DCU with, uh, James Gunn. I think he would be a great new addition, probably maybe get Mark Strong to play him since Sinestro didn't quite work out in Green Lantern. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, and also there's, Bunch of cool moments throughout the animated TV shows where he almost goes to the Justice League. Also, I don't know why, but <laughs> the one that comes to mind is there's um, some Lego uh, Lego short movies that has Brainiac in it, too, that I have memories of as well. So, yeah, Brainiac goes into great. He's a great villain, and you can't deny it, but he's not my favorite Superman villain or DC villain. Next up, we got Catwoman, and, uh, uh-huh, um, uh, oh gosh, I'm getting caught in 4K here, um, <clears throat> uh, ooh, this is tough, Selena, 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 it's really tough, uh, you know what? Yeah, best of the best. She's a phenomenal character. I'd say she's, well, I, mm, actually, I don't know, well, to be fair, in the Catwoman movie with Halle Berry, it wasn't Selena Kyle. And this is Selena Kyle Catwoman here. So, best of the best. She still sta stays in best of the best. I had to remember from the Catwoman movie if it was Selena Kyle or not. Because I was going, uh, was that Selena Kyle? But it is not. It was. It's a totally different person. I don't even know what the character's name is in that. Um... Number one favorite thing that comes to mind with this character is her her um her role in the Batman Arkham games, most importantly Batman Arkham City. She has a big role in there. Also really enjoy what they did with her in uh, Batman Arkham Knight where she's captured by the Riddler and you're trying to save her. I really liked that angle as well. 
Um, then, of course, the movies, besides <laughs> Halle Berry's Catwoman movie, uh, she is mostly portrayed greatly, um, specifically Zoe Kravitz, I thought she did a phenomenal job playing her in the Batman, uh, last, uh, wait, two years ago, wait, well, really, it's been two years ago, that's, that's crazy, um, uh, Michelle, Fe Michelle Pfeiffer, of course, probably the best Catwoman portrayal for movies, uh, probably, I, I thought she did a great job and probably was the best portrayal of this character, um, also, uh, uh, Anne Hathaway did a good job as Catwoman, too. Um, is that pretty much all the performance I think of? And then there's also the person that played Catwoman in the, uh, 1960s Batman TV show slash movie, which she does a good job, too. Uh, but she's probably my least favorite out of the four. Um, and also, you got that relationship with Batman that's on and off again, on and off again. Uh, that's really good, too. And also, she's really good in the Gotham TV show, too. So, I will put this best of the best. I'm probably talking about these way too long because we still got a lot to go. Um, is this Domino? I This might be? I don't know. I, and plus, if it is Domino, I don't know where to put her necessarily because I totally blanked out and forgot about her character, so... Um, all I know is I think she ends up with Deadpool once, so. Next up, we got Gamora. And Gamora, I will say, is decent. I, I think she's decent. Um, I never really liked her character in the comics, but in the movies, you do connect with her character, and Zoe Saldana does a great job playing her as well. Um, and also, she's a pretty good character in the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series game. I like her character in that. Um, but the comics kind of, and the comics in, I think that's pretty much it really that holds this character from going any, even higher. And also she's probably my least favorite member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's why it's holding her back a significant amount, but she's a decent character. She's a decent character. Next up is this Gwenpool, I think. I know about Spider-Gwen, but I do not know enough about Gwenpool. All I know is just she just pops up a lot in the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 video game, I'm pretty sure. So, that's pretty much all I know about her. Then we got Harley Quinn. We know where she's going. Come on, come on, come on. Harley Quinn is best of the best. Um, Just her... She started off as a side character that was just just created specifically for the batman the animated series and that character became super uber popular where now they decided to add where then they decided to add her to the comics as well and became an even more popular character then a little bit later on uh a few i would say probably three decades two decades later uh, we had Margot Robbie portray Harley Quinn in the movies, even though the movies that she were she was in wasn't part were particularly awesome. Her portrayal of Harley Quinn was awesome. Um, uh, trying to think, uh, she's another super fun character to use in Injustice Two and that whole entire storyline with the, the characters. I thought was really good. Um, so yeah, she goes in best of the best. There's no denying it. So. Yeah. Then we have Kang the Conqueror. <sighs> this this is probably one of the most like hardest rank probably because if Kang if Jonathan Majors if the Jonathan Majors incident didn't happen, probably Kang would maybe be best the best or great. But now I'll have to put him good because for Aim and the Wasp Quantumania I thought he did really good, um, even though his career is kind of down the toilet now. Um, also, his other King variants he did really good in as well, um, in the Loki TV series and all the other... Uh, I forgot what all the other... Uh, anyways, you get it. Um, and probably why I put him specifically in good is because, again, sort of the same thing with Black Panther in the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes uh, TV show. There was... 
a few episodes with Kang that I thought were really great stuff. Uh, and uh, especially a little later on, I remember this is probably my favorite episode of the whole entire Avengers vs. Mighty Zero series. Uh, but there was one episode specifically where he ended up. I forgot if he killed them or he basically made them disappear for a little bit. But uh, Kang ended up making the Avengers disappear. So they had a new Avengers form, which was War Machine, Thing, Wolverine, Spider-Man. And I might be forgetting somebody else, but that the, that was the new Avengers. So And they basically came in to try to save the day. So I, I loved that episode. Um, and also, it's... It was interesting, too, when King the Conqueror kept on going back in the past to discover all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, I'd put him in the good tier. Killer Croc. Um, uh, this one's confusing to rank, too. Um, huh. It's one of these three, but I have to... Uh, uh, it's super tough, bro. Okay, I don't think I'm going to put him underrated even because I'm not the biggest Killer Croc, fan, Croc fan, ugh, Killer Croc fan, but I will put him in the decent category right above Gamora, I think. Um... Specifically, why I put him there and not lower is because the Batman Arkham games, the cool sequence where you have Batman going through the, the sewer and you have to move from platform to platform to platform uh, in the, the sewage water while Killer Croc's right there. You have to dodge him and stuff. That seems very intense in Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, I think they revisit that again in City or Night. I forgot if they did that or not, but... Uh, that was very intense sequence there, so that's specifically why I put him there. Um, as a character, you kind of, he's kind of a broken character, so you kind of sympathize with him where he was kind of born like this. Um, and then in the movies, yeah, we don't talk about that in Suicide Squad 2016. <laughs> um, next up we have Professor X. And Professor X goes, oh, this one's tough too. This is a really tough list because all these characters are great. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll put him past the best. Um, pro you can't deny it. Professor X is a best of the best character. Specifically, I loved what they did with his uh, younger self in the, um, in the, why'd I f blank out for a second? In the, uh, prequel, uh, X-Men movies. I love what they do. Uh, with the exception of, uh, Dark Phoenix. I hate what they do with his character in that. But the first, the, the prequel movies with James McAvoy portraying him, I thought they did a great job on that. And also the uh, X-Men movies, too, with uh, Patrick Stewart playing him. He did amazing, too. Um, trying to think of... Uh, what or some other... Uh, also, X-Men... Uh, even though I haven't watched the TV series yet, I've heard they... Well, actually, no. I think he's dead in the TV series, right? I'm pretty sure... Um, but in X-Men 97, I heard phenomenal things. I just still haven't watched that show. There's a lot of key moments in the comics, uh, when Cyclops kills him by accident. I, th well, when he, I think Cyclops gets mind controlled or something like that. Uh, also, um, there was this X-Men children's book that followed his character, uh, when he was a little bit younger and when he kind of grew up as well. That I really loved as well. And it was a very interesting backstory. And that might have been my favorite uh, kids book that I used to read as a kid. Um, but yeah. Charles Xavier. You can't deny it. Best of the best. Psylocke. Psylocke. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just, what just happened? Psylocke. To be honest with you. Meh. I, I don't know what to, i don't know what to think about her i mean she has cool power don't get me wrong with the the psionic blade i think that's what they call it i don't know uh but that's cool about her but that's pretty much all i can say about her that i can think of really so cyclops or uh, or not cyclops psylocke 
is a meh character for me. Personally, not... Yeah. Next up, we have Silver Samurai. And Silver Samurai... Um... He's one of these two. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Probably some people are going to call that blasphemy that put him over Psylocke. It's just I never connected with Psylocke, even though she has a cool power. Um, but Silver Samurai, specific memories about his character. I ha they Back in the... I'm not an old guy, by the way. Uh, but back in the day, when I was probably six or seven somewhere around that age there i had very fond memories of there were these uh set toy sets with the marvel characters where you got two marvel characters and you got a comic book to go with it and i remember specifically there was one where you got wolverine and silver samurai and there was a wolverine comic book that involved silver samurai in the background which i still have i don't know where it went though um, but I remember reading that comic book a few times and really enjoying that. Also, some of the stuff that they did with his character in the Wolverine was good, but then there was some stuff that was kind of, eh, I don't know what to think about that. So, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, he's, he's okay, I should say. Swamp Thing. I think the only thing I've really watched with Swamp Thing is the Swamp Thing movie, which isn't really good, but I, I might have watched Return to Swamp Thing too. I don't know. But I also he has a really good story in um in Justice 2 as well. So I think Swamp Thing is a good character. He's a good character. I can't wait for that new movie that's gonna be directed by uh uh Oh, what's uh, James Mangold? He's gonna direct a new Swamp Thing movie, which I'm super excited for because I'm a big fan of James Mangold. Um, even though Dial Destiny was kind of disappointing. Um, Swamp uh, Swamp Thing's a very interesting character and has a, probably one of the most tragic backstories out of all of DC heroes. Probably he's up there. He's at least top five. Where he, it was a total accident, and now he's part of. Uh, the lifestyle of plants and stuff. So, yeah, I, I think he's a good character. I think he's a good character. Or, all right, next up we have the Flash. I mean, come on, there's no denying we're Barry. Well, unless if this isn't Barry. If this isn't Barry, then he probably would go somewhere else. But the Flash, you can't, you can't deny it. Best of the best. Flashpoint uh, movie and Flashpoint comic book in general just puts him there. Definitely. Uh, and also, also, he just has a lot of great comics, uh, you love, in the, before the TV series kind of lost its way, the Flash TV series, uh, Barry and the Flash was a great character, um, uh, with Grant Gustin portraying him, of course, um, trying to think of, um, and also there were aspects of Ezra Miller's portrayal of the Flash, that were good, especially the emotional moments in the Flash movie that came out uh, last year. I thought he acted decently sometimes and added a, a little bit of an extra layer to his character, even though it his lesson isn't learned by the end of the movie. I'm um, trying to think of what other things about the Flash. Um, it, it's just, there's so many great things about Barry uh, slash the Flash as a character. So he goes best of the best. There's no denying it. Next up, we have Ultron. We have Ultron. And Ultron is a great villain. I can't necessarily say he's best of the best because I don't know if necessarily if I would put him there. Because I think probably... He's definitely, he might be my favorite Avengers villain, maybe. I don't know. But he's up there, definitely. But why it holds him, why he's getting hold ba held, held back from going into Best of the Best is specifically because um, in the Avengers Age of Ultron movie, while he still ends up being menacing throughout the movie, 
they make him a little bit too goofy in that, so kind of ruins his character. Uh, but Comics Ultron, and of course, as I mentioned before with Kang and Black Panther, the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV show, how they explore Ultron, I thought was really well done as well. Um, and then also the some of the um, some of the uh, comic book moments too, uh, where it's post apocalyptic and basically the Wolverine from the past and the Wolverine from the future, and I think Wolverine from the past has to kill Wolverine from the future to basically secure the timeline, something similar to that plot. So, um, Wolver uh, Ultron goes in the great tier. He's a great villain. Can I move down, please? Thank you. Uh, Vision. Uh, Vision. I might have to make him part two to this. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but Vision goes. This is tough to rank because I like Vision as a character, but I can't say I love him as a character. <sighs> good. I'll put him good. I'll put him good. He's my least favorite of the good category for now. Uh, but the arc he goes on in Avengers Infinity War where he basically sacrifices himself, but that doesn't end up going to plan, uh, was, was a great journey for his character and to end basically um then when he gets back for brought back for one division he also is used very greatly as well played by paul bettany who does a great job um and uh there's moments through avengers or some mightiest heroes that he's a good character too that i actually like him the one uh, episode that comes to mind as well is the um the purple man episode where he i forgot who he was with but someone and him are trying to basically uh get all the avengers out of mind control from the purple man so um vision will go good i i can't believe they're making a vision quest tv series though i'm not excited for that is this supposed to be wonder woman i think think it is i uh, yeah it, okay it is wonder woman it is wonder woman yeah you can't deny it either wonder woman goes best of the best i'll put her bottom best of the best because i prefer the characters above her right now but she you can't deny it best of the best she is basically the standard for all women superheroes going forward uh she is definitely the person that set the other's paths right um uh, and not just that, but she's a great character. Um, ones that come to mind are, uh, with showing how good of a character she is, uh, a bunch of the Justice League animated movies, uh, that she gets used as a good character. Um, the Wonder Woman movie, of course, she's a phenomenal character in the first one, uh, played by Gal Gadot. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984, there's kind, there's aspects that are good character but there's also some eh, 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 stuff oh that you're going eh, i don't know how to feel about that um justice league movies she's just in the background uh but yeah uh trying to think uh also there's a bunch of moments throughout the comics and uh, her relationship with steve trevor's uh cue as well between the comics and the movies so um yeah i'll put her best of best Next up, we got Ant-Man. Is it specifically just Scott Lang or is it Hank Pym? Because, I don't know. Is Hank Pym on here? Let me see. Because I want to make sure. I want to make sure. I don't see him. I don't think, right? Do I see Hank? I can't tell if I... Okay. So, okay. So, probably this just... Or is it just mean Ant-Man in general? Because if... It means Ant-Man in general. Yeah. If it was Hank Pym Ant-Man, I would put Hank Pym Ant-Man at best of the best. And then Scott Lang, don't get me wrong, he's a great character, but... Uh, okay. I'll put him up... Okay, these two are tied right now at best of the best, but I can put... I'll put Ant-Man in best of the best, specifically because 
The Hank Pym stuff they did with this character in Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, again, was phenomenal uh, throughout that TV series. And the dynamic he had with Janet and uh, Ultron throughout the TV series was great as well. Um, so um, that's what comes to mind. Scott Lang, yes, I still think Hank Pym's higher above him f from the TV series, but Scott Lang is still a great character played masterfully by Paul Rudd. Um, and, uh, you, you, he's definitely one of the characters you sympathize with the most in the MCU, uh, because at, uh, specifically at the start, because he's just trying to basically make a living for his daughter. And also he is in Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, just one episode, I think, where he's trying to do the same, um, where he's eventually stumbled upon by, uh, Luke Cage and, uh, Iron Fist, uh, so they basically help him and try to, trying to help his daughter as well, so, um, yeah, best of the best. Next up, we got Aquaman. Aquaman. Aquaman was originally a joke, but Aquaman now? I think he's good. I think he's a good character. I'll put him above Vision right now. Uh, even though his character is kind of, even though Jason Momoa plays himself basically as Aquaman he still does a great job playing as Aquaman if that makes sense um also there's some uh, animated movies where he's really good and the flashpoint paradox where you're the where it, you're in the flashpoint world and Aquaman basically is the villain that whole entire storyline he has with Wonder Woman where basically Wonder Woman ended up killing uh wait what's her name uh Amber Heard plays her. I forgot her name was. Uh, but uh, she Wonder Woman accidentally ki ends up... No, not accidentally. Ends up killing Aquaman's wife. So Aquaman basically ends up coming after her. And there's a war between the Atlanteans, uh, the Atlanteans and the Amazons. Which I thought was really good. So um, there's that. Um, what other ones can I think of? Uh... Also, I have it. I haven't watched it yet. I've watched bits and pieces. Uh, but there's an Aquaman Throne of Atlantis uh, TV sh uh, movie as well. Um, and also some of the old Justice League TV shows back in the 90s as well. With his storyline where he's basically trying to become king again. And he ends up losing his arm and stuff. Uh, that was a great I think that was probably the peak of his character in all movies and TV shows. So, uh, actually, do I put Aquaman best of the best? Okay. I think I like... Okay, I'm moving Brainiac down. I'm moving Brainiac down. I'm going to move Aquaman back, uh, to great. And I think I like it that way. There you go. That's good. Next up, we have Bane, and uh, totally ignoring Batman and Robin, Bane goes into the great tier. He is a great villain. I mean, after all, he broke the bat the bat's back in both the comics and the movies and the TV shows as well. Uh, Tom Hardy plays Bane the best. Uh, that whole entire character, even though he ends up being a kind of puppet for Talia al Ghul in that movie later on, he still does a phenomenal job before leading up to that point. Uh, also, in the uh, I have memories from the uh, is it the TV show The Batman? I forgot what it's called. Uh, but in the animated show where the Batman <laughs> in the TV show, I'm still a little bit gunky, guys. Don't mind me. Uh, but Batman gets his back broken by Bane. So and uh, he basically creates a mech suit to battle with Bane because he's super overpowered in that universe. Um, also, there's a lot of shocking moments that happens with Bane where he ends in uh, one of the comics as well. He ends up killing Alfred because of Damien for some reason. So, um, yeah. Well, not the some reason for Alfred dying, but Damien had to interfere even though Bane said, do not come or else I'll break his neck and he broke his neck. So, that sucks. Um, but there's a lot of menacing stuff he does uh, throughout the Batman universe. So Bane goes into the great tier. Next up, we got the Baron Helmet Zemo. And uh, 
I, I'm going to bring up that TV series a lot, aren't I? Uh, but Batman, uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, I think, puts him in the underrated section. Yeah, uh, do me a favor, watch that TV series. You'll see what I mean because there's a, a lot of episodes where he does really, uh, they do good with his character. Um, there's that whole entire underground, that whole entire underground basement or whatever. I don't know what. Basically, there's a hidden Hydra place somewhere. I forgot where it specifically was. Uh, but Baron Zemo tries to recruit a bunch of people, and he eventually basically makes the, uh, oh, what was the, the, the team called? The Masters of Evil, I think that's what it was called. Um, there's also an episode where Captain America and Baron Zemo fight, uh, which that brings mem memories back from Captain America, too. So, um, yeah, underrated. Um, and also in the movies, he's kind of underrated, too, because Civil War, he's a great villain where you understand where he's coming from, why he basically made the Avengers fight each other because they ba ended up accidentally killing his family. So... There's that. But they kind of downgrade his character in Falcon and Winter Soldier where he just dances, you know. Uh, but otherwise, uh, but Baron Helmet Zemo, very underrated character. So he goes in the underrated character. Uh, underrated category. Next up, we got Batman. Wonder where he's going, huh? Wonder where he's going, Toxic Crush. No, I'm just kidding. No, y y you, you know, Batman's... Probably one of, if not the best comic book hero of all time. He's tied with another person, which I th I hope he's on this list. Hold on a second. I'm just making sure. Okay, yes, he is. Okay. Um, but Batman, he's iconic. If you Even if there's people that don't even watch TV or movies um, much, you definitely... If you go up to them and ask them, do you know who Batman is? A hundred percent of the time, they're going to say yes. Uh, or 99.9% .9 of the time, they're going to say yes. Um, the Batman the Animated Series uh, made him incredibly pop. Well, yeah, He was popular before even Batman the Animated Series. But that elevated him even more popular. Um, the movies, most of the time, have been great. Except for Batman and Robin. Uh, and Batman Forever is decent. But not... <laughs> great uh but the dark knight trilogy the two batman michael keaton movies and robert battinson batman movie definitely helped made him a phenomenal character as well he just he most of the time has non-stop amazing movies um also his rogues gallery he has the best rogues gallery in all of comic book history with another one coming close behind but they don't end up going number one but Batman has the best rogues gallery. I mean, you got Joker, you got Riddler, you got Killer Croc, Mr. Freeze. Uh, I could go on and on about his rogues gallery, honestly. Uh, Batman, best of the best. Come on, there's no denying it. And his, his backstory is iconic, too. And it's very sad. Beast Boy. Beast Boy, Beast Boy, Beast Boy. Um, Beast Boy goes into the good category. I think he's a good character. Um, he can't go any higher because most of the... Um, because for some of the animated Teen Titans movies, he kind of gets sidelined as specific. And I'm not meaning like the Teen Titans. Like, what I'm meaning is Justice League versus Teen Titans, he kind of gets sidelined. And also, he kind of feels... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know with Beast Boy. This is tough. Um, because his really, uh, bro ship, uh, a bro friendship with, uh, Cyborg is awesome throughout the iconic original Teen Titans Go, t uh, not Teen Titans Go, sorry. Teen Titans TV series and also their friendship in Teen Titans Go is good too. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, and also his relationship with Raven is cute as well. So, um, Beast Boy goes into the good tier. He's really funny, so. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. I have not watched The Boys. I have not watched The Boys. So, for that reason, The Butcher, I think this is what the character's name is, I don't know, because I do not have, I have not watched The Boys, and I have not 
watched uh, another show, which will eventually be on here, uh, Invincible. I've never watched any of those shows. Even though I'm more likely to watch Invincible than uh, The Boys, because The Boys is supposedly very adult. Um, so, there's that. Um, next up, we got Black Adam. Ah, uh, Black Adam, Black Adam. Where'd I put him? He's a great villain. He, you can't deny it as well. He, he's a great villain. He doesn't go best of the best for me because there's still a little sour taste, personally, for the character because basically Dwayne the Rock Johnson playing him, and he ended up uh, getting uh, getting the whole entire DCEU messed up basically. So um, that's sad, um, but you can't deny it. His rivalry with Shazam is legendary. Um, and, uh, uh, trying to think, uh, the one animated movie that comes to mind is, I forgot what it's called, Superman slash, Superman slash Shazam Return of Black Adam, I think that's what the animated movie is. Alrighty then, continuing on, we got Black Cat, and Black Cat, I'll put, I'll put good, I'll put Good. There we go. I don't know what, why I said it that way. The reason why I'll put her good is because I feel as if she's kind of a straight copy of Catwoman, but for Spider-Man, you know? So, that's the only reason I put her there. But she is a very interesting and good character, I must admit, because they she always tries to tempt Peter from not being with Mary Jane Watson, you know? So... Yeah, I'll put her in the good tier. Alright, next up we got Black Manta. And Black Manta... Hmm. I'll put decent. I'll put, te put decent because there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of dark, dark moments that happens with his character in a way he does to Aquaman. And the comic book, specifically when he uh, kills Aquaman's son, that was such a dark moment in, like, all of DC. And it's just like, what? Aquaman's usually supposed to be, like, a very... <laughs> For the comic books, he's supposed to have, like, very... Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but very happy comic books, if that makes sense. But Black Manta said nope. So specifically for that reason, I'll put Black Manta in decent. And also, he was pretty good in Aquaman The Last Kingdom, but kind of the same thing with Bane. He ends up being a puppet at the end of it. All right, next up we got Black Mask. Black Mask. I'll put him at okay. Either okay or decent. I'll put him... I'll put him okay because I think I like Silver Samurai a little bit more than he more than him. Why I can't put him any higher is because Arkham uh Batman Arkham Origins, it started out making it seem like Black Mask was gonna be the big bad of the whole entire game. And uh we were proven wrong, ended up being the Joker again. So uh the really uh yeah, Black Mask wasn't the real villain of that. It started out well for his character, but... And all the... I think that's the only thing I think he's memorable from. I, I heard he was good in uh, Birds of Prey when he was played by Ewan McGregor, but I never saw Birds of Prey. So, I'll put Black Mask in okay. I'll put him okay. Next up, we got Black Widow. I was about, uh, so, we are going alphabetical. Okay, 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 okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, Black Widow... If you would have asked me before the movies would have came out, I probably would have gone, who are you? But Black Manta? I meant no, Black Manta. Black Widow. Ooh. Where'd she go? Oh, it's super tough. Black Widow, you go in. Great. The only reason why I didn't put her in Best of the Best is because in the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV show... She is kind... You don't know which side she is. She's, like, kind of flip-flopping and all the time. And you don't know which side she's a part of. 
And you don't really necessarily like her character for that in the TV series. But movie wi- movies-wise, I would probably put her in Best of the Best. But we're including in all of the things that I've seen her from. So that's why she goes into the great tier. All right, next up we got... Uh, ooh. Uh, next up, we got uh, Batman Beyond, or Terry McGinnis. I think that's what his name is. Batman Beyond, the TV series, I have. The complete series. But I have not watched it. So, um, but from what I've seen, I think he is a good character. I think he is a very good character. Um, uh, I think he was a good replacement taking over the mantle for Batman. I'm glad they didn't go the Dick Grayson route, uh, Grayson route like the multiverse. So this was a very unique and interesting idea. And we all thought the TV series was going to flop, but it didn't. And it was actually supposedly a really good show. So uh, Terry McGinnis goes into the good. I can't say much more because I still haven't watched the TV series. Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle I will put in the underrated category or is he perfectly rated i don't know if he's underrated i don't know if he's perfectly rated i i'll probably still put him underrated because the only thing that like really made him perfectly rated was the movie i thought the movie was great i thought it was a real big surprise um and the only thing that whole held that movie back for me was the villains i thought the villains were very generic but and I thought the movie itself was generic, but I think it helped itself in its favor. Um, I thought the CGI for him was really good in that movie. Um, also, for uh, TV show-wise, the only thing I think I've seen him from is Young Justice and the Teen Titans vs. Justice League movie. And he was really good in Teen Titans. Uh, not Teen Titans, sorry. Justice League. Uh, uh, Young Justice uh, for the bits and pieces i saw him in and also there was batman the brave and the bold where he was a key part in it too which i thought that blue beetle episode was really good too with kane jaro um so yeah there's that and uh i think he's underrated he's a very underrated superhero so he goes there next up we got cable and cable to be fair with you i don't know much about him so I can't really judge Cable, but if I knew a whole lot about him, probably I'll put him in the great tier. I don't know, but I don't know much about him. Captain America, we know where he's going. Captain America is the first like amazing superhero. I'm pretty. It was either him or uh, uh, Superman that was created first. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll put him right there for now. I mean, he he's just the good luck. Uh, the uh the go lucky good looking superhero dude dude that helps out everyone um the movies added more depth to this character to help uh portray it on screen and make him a great character um also um there's a bunch of great comics with him uh i have the graphic novel for the uh winter soldier one i think that's a really great graphic novel um you have a bunch of different storylines in with him there's a storyline in a multiverse, I believe, where he ends up joining Hydra. That's a really a good little comic book there, too. Um, and also the Civil War graphic novel. I have that. Well, not graphic novel, but it's like a, the story, but you color it, basically. That's a great story in itself, too. And the movie, of course, was great as well. And, uh, yeah, Captain America, no doubt. Best of the best. Oh, wait, why did I just move Catwoman? I don't know. All right, next up, we got Captain Boomerang. And Captain Boomerang... Captain Boomerang, I'm gonna put... Meh. I like her, I like him better than Psylocke, but he's just a very middle-of-the-road superhero villain, to be honest with you. I mean, it's cool that he can throw boomerangs and all that, but and also, he's pretty... He has some funny one-liners from Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League, but uh, from what I've seen, but that doesn't make him a really good super villain uh and then suicide squad i don't know what they were doing with him in either of the movies so captain boomerang goes meh next up we got captain marvel <sighs> captain marvel <sighs> decent why i didn't put her higher and it, plus i have no okay i would just like to point this out right now i have no 
problems with Brie Larson, okay? It's just I don't like her portrayal of Captain Marvel in the movies. That's why she goes in the decent category. It's just I don't like her portrayal of that. I think Brie Larson is a good actress. It's just I don't think she was right for Captain Marvel. Uh, I don't know. There were some aspects that made her better in the second movie, but the first movie made her a little bit generic for me. Um, there's a lot of key moments like it. She's a definitely, if we were judging this on power, Captain Marvel would go best of the best with a, like her power rate level because she's insanely powerful. I mean, we all saw it in Endgame when uh, Thanos tried to punch her and it did nothing. And then she took down a whole entire ship. So Captain Marvel goes decent. She's a decent character. Next up, we got Nova. Nova is a very 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 underrated character um i think uh i can't i i cannot wait for them to make a nova movie i hope that's coming out soon because nova is a really great character um specifically the one the for tv series and memorable moments i have a uh, mine from for his character is the uh wait what was the show called again the ultimate spider-man he was uh, friends with Spider-Man in that, and I thought that there was a bunch of good moments with his character in that. Um, there's a bunch of cool moments he has with the Guardians of the Galaxy in the comics, and uh, there's a bunch of different Novas throughout time. And, uh, yeah, Nova underrated. I think uh, not a whole lot of people know about him, and he's a really good character. Carnage. Carnage, Carnage, Carnage. Carnage, I think, is... Ooh, do I think he's underrated? Because, hmm, I think he's a great villain. He's a great villain. Specifically, Cletus Cassidy, not the actual symbiote itself. Because this counts for both Cletus Cassidy and Carnage. Cletus Cassidy, one of the most evil, evil villains in all of comic book history. Uh, just, uh, just the stuff he does is very, like, whoa, dude, you're so messed up. And uh, when Woody Harrelson portrayed him in Venom Let There Be Carnage, Woody Harrelson did a good job too. Uh, he was, uh, and also they made the most tamest PG thirteen version of his backstory, which I, which they did good for what they could do with the PG thirteen backstory. Um, there was a missed opportunity to have him still be alive and win that movie, and then the third movie. It's Carnage versus Venom again, but they didn't end up doing that, sadly. Um, there is that whole entire relationship he had with uh, the, the girl or whatever. I forgot what her, what her name was, but they had that relationship. Also, uh, the Ultimates... Uh, not, oh, what's that game called? Spider-Man is the Spider-Verse. No, not Spider-Man is the Spider-Verse, sorry. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, that's what it's called. Uh, there's Carnage in there as a boss, too, and there's a bunch of creepy stuff going on through that level that's really creepy. So, uh, yeah, I think Carnage is a great villain. So, yeah, he goes there. Next up, we got Cheetah. Cheetah... Okay. She's, the, like, definitely the best Wonder Woman villain, but that, uh, that ain't really saying much. Uh, I think the whole entire... The reason I got soured on her is because of Wonder Woman 1984, after watching what they did with her. They gave her a very generic plot thread that they recycled through a bunch of whole entire villains arcs, so, um, yeah. And, uh, and otherwise, I think everything else I've seen her in, she's just been sidelined, so she goes into the okay tier. Next up, we got Cyborg. Booyah! Uh, Cyborg goes into, excuse me, can you, stay still, okay, thank you, Cyborg goes into great, he's a great character, um, the stuff he does with Justice League's great, and also the stuff with Teen Titans that he does is great, both sides of the coin he does with them is great, um, the, his whole, he has a very tragic, tragic backstory, which uh, they explore in uh, Justice League and Zack Snyder's Justice League. The preferred version is Zack Snyder's Justice League because you actually see the backstory of uh, 
Victor Creed. I think that's what his name is, right? That his real name is. So, or, uh, I forgot what his real name was, but you get to find the backstory and that makes him a better character. And you actually understand now, uh, how good of a character he is. Unlike Justice League, that piece of garbage. Um, and yeah, that whole entire thing was interesting. So, uh, Cyborg goes into great tier. He's a great, uh, hero. Cyclops. Ooh, Cyclops, Cyclops, Cyclops. The le the original leader of the X-Men before Wolverine came around. Cyclops, I think, is best of best. Cyclops is cool. Uh, James Marsden did a great job playing him in all the X-Men movies. Even X-Men The Last Hand, even though they killed him off so stupidly in that movie. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but the first two movies, he's particularly does amazing in. Um, there's a bunch of key points throughout the comics and then the TV shows that he's very vital to. So, um, uh, for example, uh, when he accidentally kills, uh, Professor X, uh, and then he has to ba basically pay for it. That was, a, that was a pretty dark storyline. Also, some of the stuff they did with him in X-Men Apocalypse, which even though I thought, think, overall thought that movie was okay, I thought that the stuff what they did with his like backstory was actually pretty good. So, um, Cyclops, the best of the best. Next up, we got Damian Wayne. I, w I was confused when I saw a whole lot of Robins because I luckily now I know this is going alphabetical. Damian, Damian, Damian. Even though you make stupid decisions, I'm going to make you a, a good character. Even though you got Alfred killed, which I'll never... Never forgive you for that. He's still a good character. Um, you understand where his head's at a little earlier on when you Batman finds out he actually has a son, and basically Batman and Robin end up. Uh, ba Batman ends up training him to be Robin, and basically, even though Bat Robin's very headstrong, uh, during, um, sp during most of the um most of the uh tv shows and movies he is and specifically damien win uh it's just i don't know damien damien even though he's he gets so many he's he i don't know his character is good it's just he gets on my nerves sometimes simple as that next up we got daredevil daredevil is underrated but I still think, no, actually, no, he's perfectly rated. Daredevil, even though being kind of a cur copy off of Batman, oh, but no, he's not a copy. He, I would say he's, he's in his league. He's in his own league. I cannot speak. Daredevil, best of the best. I think he's a great, phenomenal character. In uh, Daredevil 2003, yes, even though, uh, I think... There is, even though it's not perfect, there's still stuff they do with his character in that movie that I thought were handled very well. So particularly his backstory, portraying that on screen. I thought they did a phenomenal job of that. Um, and uh, there's a bunch of, I have a comic book where he faces Bullseye and that uh, comic book's really good. Uh, I'm, I haven't watched the Daredevil TV series, even though I'm a big Daredevil fan. Uh, but I might watch it soon, though. I might watch it soon. Uh, but Daredevil, amazing character, and, uh, very unique, too, uh, how it explores that he's blind, but all of his senses are increased to another level, which, uh, so, yeah, that goes best of the best. Next up, we got Deadpool. I mean, originally, I would have, it would have probably been a little bit lower, because we didn't know who he was. But Ryan Reynolds made this a best of the best character. Deadpool's super hilarious. I mean, come on now. Who's so excited for Deadpool and Wolverine? Let me know in the comments section down below. But Deadpool, amazing character. Um, Ryan Reynolds was the perfect choice to play him and uh, uh, return as him for Deadpool's movies. Um, also, there's a bunch of funny moments throughout all the video games and all the movies and t uh, all the animated movies and tv shows specifically i remember a funny moment in uh i think it was hulk versus wolverine i think he's in there 
and the Hulk's, like, beating him and ripping him apart and stuff, and then Deadpool's still alive and stuff, and said, hey, Logan, you left me, when they, him and Wolverine are running away from him, so, uh, yeah, Deadpool, best of the best, no denying it. The Merc with the Mouth. Uh, next up we got Deadshot. Uh, Deadshot, uh, decent. I think he's a decent character. Um, even though the movie, again, as I said before, isn't uh, overall that good, the original Suicide Squad, uh, what they did with him, with Will Smith playing as him, I think they did good with his character. However, I can't think of anything else about his character. <laughs> anything else he's been in that I can remember. The only thing I can think of is Suicide Squad... No, not Suicide Squad, sorry. Batman Assault on Arkham. Uh, but that's... I don't even remember what else happened in that. So, he's a decent character. He's cool that he can hit targets no matter what. Uh, next up we got Doc Ock. Doc Ock? Ooh. I will say, he's not... He There's a Spider-Man villain I prefer over him. But you cannot deny. Best of the best. Uh, Alfred Molina plays him amazingly in the, uh, Spider-Man 2, of course. Uh, then you also got, uh, trying to think of any other examples. Uh, also just a bunch of storylines they go through in the comics as well, where he kidnaps Aunt May and Spider-Man has to save her. Um, there is the Superior Spider-Man storyline where he ends up becoming Spider-Man. That's a pretty good storyline as well. Um... And there's no nothing else I have to say about Doc Ock. He goes best of the best. Next up, we got Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom goes into the best of the best here. I hope, fingers crossed, since Kang is now out of the occasion for the uh, Marvel movies, that they bring... Uh, Doctor Doom as the main villain because I think, <laughs> but even though I think the portrayal of him in um the Fantastic Four two thousand five movie is good or decent, it's still not the best it could be. Um, and uh, we do not talk about Fan Four Stick. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but we need a portrayal of him played by someone that's an amazing actor. Bring Moss Mickelson back. I think he could portray Dr. Doom very well. Um, hang on, I'm taking a drink of water. Alright, Dr. Doom, best of the best. No denying it. <coughs> Next up, we got Dr. Strange. And Dr. Strange is also a best of the best character. No denying it. Very unique. And uh, I love all the movies he's been in, including also the animated movie. I really love that movie specifically. Uh, also, I like the 2016 movie with Benedict Cum Cumberbatch. He plays him really good. And then Multiverse of Madness, while still not being really the Multiverse of Madness, it was still a good movie, um, in my opinion. Um, and I liked what they did with Strange's character in that. Um, trying to, th where he was in the protector role. Um, there, also Spider-Man No Way Home, what they did with his character too, where he helped Spider-Man, uh, get rid of the memory of who Spider-Man was out of everybody, uh, was good too. And, uh, yeah, there's that. Next up we got, I can't even tell who this is. Uh, okay, let me think of people that start with the letter D. Um, I do, I, 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 I do not know who this is. I can't even tell who created this, bro. I don't know who that is. Um, there's an X symbol. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. So that mean, must mean this is, ah, uh, I don't know. So this is probably Domino. I can't tell. It, and plus, I wouldn't even know how to rank her. So, Doomsday. Doomsday. The killer of Superman. Uh, the killer of Superman, Doomsday himself, goes into the goods category. I mean, that alone, you killing Superman definitely puts you in there. 
Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go by these a little bit more faster now. Uh, Dr. Fate, Dr. Fate goes, uh, because of Young Justice, I'll put him in good, um, what they did with his character, so, yep. Uh, Dr. Manhattan, uh, Dr. Manhattan is also a good character, even though I've not seen Watchmen, I've, uh, watched, uh, followed his story quite a bit, and he's a good character. Drax the Destroyer, um, uh, Drax the Destroyer is is good as well, it is a good character, specifically Comic Strax, that is, like, a great character, uh, and the movies, he's good, too, uh, for what he's, uh, and also, Dave Batista plays him, too, Falcon, Falcon goes right into, ooh, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, great, great character, and I'm glad he took over the Captain America mat, uh, mantle, uh, so there's that, uh, Sam Wilson's just a great character in general, Firestorm, Firestorm, uh, from Legends, but when Legends was good, uh, Firestorm goes into the good tier for that, and also the, uh, some of the stuff he, uh, wait, is it just in the Flash and TV show and, uh, DC Legends? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, but he's a good character in both of those, uh, and because there's two versions of him, but, well, the two versions each have Stein, but there's one other person in there, too, so... Uh, both versions I thought were good. Next up, we got Gambit. And Gambit, I think, is incredibly underrated. Um, not a whole lot of people talk about him in the X-Men community, I feel like, um, anymore. Like, they used to, but I feel as if now, kind of, people have been silent on Gambit. I haven't heard a whole lot of people talk about him. And he's very cool and unique. Uh, I have a lot of memories from, I think... The game was called X Men Destiny, where you go to uh, Chinatown and find him. That uh, and you have that little mission with him. I thought that was pretty good too. Uh, that's an underrated game too, in my opinion. Uh, X Men Destiny. <laughs> X Men Destiny. I think that's underrated. So uh, Gambit, you go uh, into uh, underrated. Next up, we got General Zod and uh, Michael Shant. Okay, do not do that again. Uh, General Zod, I think I like more than Brainiac. General Zod goes in great. Uh, particularly because Michael Shannon's performance as him in uh, Man of Steel was phenomenal. And how they made him break Superman's one rule to basically save people. That was pretty. That was a pretty uh, divisive moment. But I'm glad they took that approach in, in Man of Steel, which I think is amazing. Uh, and also, Trevor Stamp, too, did good as him in the uh, Superman movies as well, even though it's kind of a little odd what they made him wear in those movies. But, um, yeah, General Zod goes in great. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider goes into best of the best. I think he's a phenomenal character. And hopefully they adapt him into the MCU soon as well, just like Nova. Next up, we got Green Arrow. In the Arrow TV show, it started out well for his character. I would probably put him, like, probably in the great tier. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I'll put him great. Green Arrow's a great character. Um, uh, There's a couple of animated films out there with him. Uh, there's, as I mentioned before, the Superman slash Sh Shazam Return of Black Adam movie. There were also some short films as well one had jonah hex one had green arrow and one had uh the specter and there was one with green arrow where he and uh he proposed to black canary basically and was trying to protect this one kid and that was a good episode too uh and uh hopefully they make him uh make him uh in the uh dcu too and i think glenn powell would be a great green arrow by the way Green Goblin. Oh, also, where's Hal Jordan? I just really realized Hal Jordan is on this. Anyways, uh, Green Goblin, my favorite Spider-Man villain, and he is easily going into best of the best here. Um, do I need to say anything? Great villain. John Stewart. John Stewart as well is a best of the best character for me. I love his character. I don't like what they're doing with the Green Lantern TV show where they're going to make Hal Jordan older and then they're going to make Jon Stewart younger. I feel that's a little bit odd because I always thought Jon Stewart was older than Hal Jordan. But, you know, maybe the approach will work. I don't know. Uh, but specifically, I put him there because the Justice League TV show and how great he was in there. And uh, 
all of, all the stuff he's been in is great. Next up, we got I am Groot. I am Groot. Uh, Groot goes into uh, good. He's a good character. Uh, his relationship with the Rockets uh, pretty cute. Hawkeye. Hawkeye is incredibly well. I think since the MCU movies, now he's the best of the best character. If you would have asked me before the Avengers movies came out with him in it, I would have probably put him in the underrated category. But now people are starting to come around to Hawkeye, and I think he's the best of the best character. Specifically, Hawkeye and the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV show, again, was amazing what they did with his character throughout that. So um, Hawkeye goes in best of the best. Next up we got... I have no clue who this is. Um, oh, wait. That's Hawk Girl. Okay. I had to think for a second. Oh, wait. Who start, what starts with an H? That's Hawk Girl. Hawk Girl goes into... She's, she's okay. She's okay. Uh, I have a lot of fun memories of her with the Justice League TV show, but that's about it. Hawk Man. Hawk Man, I think, I, is... I think his portrayal in Black Adam helped to elevate him a little bit more, so I'll put him decent. Hellboy. I have not watched the Hellboy movies, so I can't judge him. Okay, so sorry. Um, Home Again, I haven't watched the boys, so I don't know how to rank uh, Homelander, but probably I'll put him in best of the best, probably, if I watch the boys. Hugo Strange. Now, this guy is an under rated batman villain i said underrated batman villain i mean batman arkham knight uh, uh no batman arkham city he was really good in that and also he's really good in uh uh gotham too with uh the uh, the guy that plays um mr Wu uh from uh dress park in there he does good too next up we got the incredible hulk and the if we were talking about the movies, I'd probably put him great, but we're including comics and TV shows in here, too, and Hulk goes best of best. I mean, come on, come on. Bruce Banner's a great character. Uh, Huntress, I do not know enough about Huntress to rank her, so. Uh, next up, we got Hush. Hush, Hush, Hush. Hush is a great villain, Um, what the, especially what they did with his, his backstory with Bruce. I think that's... Uh, Really good backstory for a villain. Um, so he goes there. Uh, in the great. Uh, next up we have Iceman, probably my third favorite X Men, and I'll put him in the great tier. He's kind of underrated too, but I I I still think he's a a phenomenal character. He had that relationship with him and Rogue. Uh, also I loved the movie version of him as well. He uh, played a more of a role in X Men Two, X Two, and uh, X Men: The Last Stand instead of the first one. But well, he was in the first one quite a bit. But he was played good by uh, I forgot the actor's name was, but he was played good by him. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. But Iceman's great. Next up, we got. Is this Icarus from Eternals? Icarus from Eternals, meh. Just because the movie. Even though he did good, the actor did good as Icarus, I don't know what to think. He'll be, oh, he's okay, he's okay. Invincible, again, haven't watched Invincible, so I can't judge him. Uh, Invisible Woman, I'll put her in the good tier. She, she's good. Iron Fist, Iron Fist is also a good character. Um, a lot of fond memories, again, from the amazing, most, more importantly, the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show. I have a lot of fond memories of him and uh, the, uh, what was the group called? The new, I forgot what it was called, but um, uh, a lot of fond memories of him in there. <coughs> <coughs> Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck goes into decent, I guess. He's funny, but I, don't, I can't put him anywhere higher. Iron Man, if you would have asked before the movie came out, Iron Man would have probably gone toxic trash. But the movie justified him and made him actually an amazing character. And Iron Man, you, you know where he's going. Best of the best. I mean, 
he's kicked off the MCU, and he's one of the best characters in the MCU. And, and Robert Downey Jr. Uh, played him exquisitely as well. Hold on a second, just had to let my dog in because it's raining. Uh, Jessica Jones... Uh, I gotta think about this one. Jessica Jones goes... Decent. She's a decent character. Joker... Toxic crashed. I never... No. You know where Joker's going. He's literally probably the one amongst the best villains in all of media. Like, books, video games, movies, TV shows. You know. The Joker goes best of the best. Do I need to say anything else? No. Kingpin. Kingpin, uh, as well, is a very tragic uh, villain backstory. And you'd sympathize with him. Kingpin goes into great too. <coughs> um, with his uh, relationship with his family and stuff. Um, Legion... I don't know how to rank Legion because I haven't watched the TV series and then I forgot totally about him in the uh, encyclopedia book. Oh, we're almost there, folks. Okay, Lex Luthor, you know, he's the best Superman villain, so there's no doubt in my mind. He's probably the second most icon. Well, actually, no. He, he He's in the top five, like, most iconic superhero villains of all time, so he goes best of best. Lobo, Lobo is uh, super cool, and I hope Jason Momoa plays him in the new DC EU, uh, DCU. Um, Lobo goes, excuse me, no, no, Bane, you go back down. Excuse me, go back down there. Uh, Lobo, top of great, top of great. He's a great character. I can't say he's best of best because I love the people in best of best more than him. I think Loki. Movies and TV shows helped elevate him a lot. And Loki is the best of the best character for me. I think he should be the new leader of the Avengers. To be honest with you, I think he should. Uh, Tom Hilston plays him masterfully. And also there's a lot of great stories with Loki in uh, Avengers vs. Mightiest Heroes. Um, also some stories I've read with him. There, He was good and vital in there. So, yeah. Next up, we got Luke Cage. And Luke Cage, I will put in the good tier, along with Iron Fist. I like Iron Fist more, So, uh, but uh, he goes there. Magneto. Magneto, you know where he's going. The One of the best Marvel villains. Uh, he's definitely up there, uh, and he goes best of best. Do I need to say anything else? No, I don't. Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter is a... Go, 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 great character. Uh, no, great character. Um, and hopefully they, again, bring him back in the, the new uh, DCU with uh, James Gunn. So, yeah. Oh, hold on. I have to let my dog. There you go. There you go, Sol. Go there. Anyways. Uh, next up, I think, is that... Who is this? Is this supposed to be King Shark? I can't tell if that... I think that is supposed to be King Shark. King Shark uh, goes into the the good tier. Uh, he's a funny character in Suicide Squad 2021. So, um, Next up, we got Miles Morales. And Miles Morales, after the Into the Spider-Verse movies and the Spider-Man video games, you can't deny it, best of the best. But what they've done with this character is absolutely amazing, and I hope they bring him into the MCU soon. Next up, we have Modok. Modok goes into the good tier. He's funny, uh, and he's very weird, but he's funny. He's funny. I'll put him there. Mister Freeze. Mister Freeze, a great Batman villain. Um, probably like amongst the top ten best uh Batman villains. I'll put him at the top of great. Just that because he's the most sympathetic Batman villain out there probably where he's just trying to heal his wife and uh basically just wants to heal her and will do anything to do that so great Mysterio Mysterio goes into the good tier good 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 Nick Fury Nick Fury will go 
great tier because Samuel L. Jackson played them very well. Best of the best is, like, characters I love. And then great is, like, close to characters I love, you know? So, yeah. Uh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler goes into the... Oops, whoops, whoopsies. Uh, into the underrated. I think he's underrated. Uh, and the stuff that they did with him in X2 X-Men United was really great. I loved what they did with him in that. Nightwing. Nightwing goes into... The I, and I hope they make a Nightwing movie soon because Nightwing I think is a great character and Dick Grayson just as a character in general is a great character. So uh, or do I put Nightwing in best of the best? Yeah, I'll put him best of best. Yeah, I I I'm a big fan of Nightwing. Oh my goodness, I just looked at Slint, uh Plastic Man's photo. That's interesting. Penguin, Penguin is a. Also, another villain you very sympathize with. Uh, Pangu well, if you watch Danny DeVito, the Batman Returns movie, but, um, Penguin's second best, uh, in the great tier. Um, he's a great villain, so, and a great mob boss. Probably the best mob boss in all, all of Gotham, so, yeah. Uh, next up we have Plastic Man, and Plastic Man goes into the... Toxic goodness to your, because he's the definition of toxic goodness. He literally fell into toxic waste and then became Plastic Man, and he's the good superhero, you know? So, that that by definition. Uh, Punisher. Punisher is Frank, Cam Frank Castle goes right into best of the best here. Easily the most sim uh, the saddest backstory for a superhero. Well, not superhero, but hero out of the uh, Marvel Universe. So, And you want him to get his lick back at those people. Raven. Raven, right now as well, goes right into... Best of the best. What they've done with her in some of the animated movies has been really good. So, especially Justice League versus Teen Titans. They did a great job with her character in that. Uh, and then also the Teen Titans shows, of course, they did go with her too. Red Hood. Red Hood goes right into the great tier. A R Red Hood's a great anti-hero. Um, and you understand where he's coming from, why he decided to go anti-hero instead of being a full-blown hero. Because what Joker put him through. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Batman under the Red Hood, by the way. Fantastic. Can we talk about it? Uh, Red Skull. Red Skull, I would say, is a good film. He's good. Uh, Baron Hel uh, not Baron Hel Red Tornado. Red Tornado is underrated in my eyes. I think he's very underrated. Um, Young Justice, that's why he put gets put there. Because the how he was used in that TV series. So, he goes underrated. Next up, we got Reverse Flash. And Reverse Flash is a great villain. Especially in um, uh, Flashpoint. So, he goes there. The Riddler. The Riddler... I might be have a bias because he was always one of my favorite uh, comic book characters uh, when I was a kid. But Riddler goes best of the best. I think he's a very funny character. And also, he's sometimes messed up, too, in the comics. And then he's also severely messed up in the Batman 2022 with some of the traps he puts people through where it's like Saw. That's pretty. <laughs> That's pretty graphic. You know. Uh... Which Robin is this? Is it is this Timothy Drake? If it's Timothy Drake, I'll put him good. But uh well I'll put him on yeah. if it does it just mean all Robins? Because if it's all Robins, I'll I'll, I'll interpret it as that I'll put him best the best. Because Robin is one of the best sidekicks ever. Poison Ivy. <laughs> uh <laughs> uh Poison Ivy goes good she's a good character she's a good character um and she has tragic backstory too rocket raccoon if you would ask me originally i would have put him a lot lower but after guardians of the galaxy volume 3 i think he and he in my opinion is one of the best mcu characters he goes best of the best for me i think he's a great character next up we got rogue we got rogue um 
Rogue goes into the good tier. She's a good character. No, stop. She goes into the good tier. There you go. Next up, we got Rorschach. Uh, Rorschach is also a good character. Man, that good character... That good uh, category is getting fooled up to the bone, ain't it? Um, or best of the best is technically too. Scarecrow. Scarecrow is. Ooh, where do I put him? Do I put him underrated or great? No, I gotta put him great. I love what they do with his character. He's very unique. How he creates a scare gas and also basically wants to traumatize people because he got traumatized as a kid by his father so yeah scarlet witch a scarlet witch go into after wandavision uh and dr strange multiverse of madness i think she's the best the best character sorry shoot me next up we got shazam billy uh i forgot what his last name was uh shazam goes into Great tier. He's a great character. Shocker. Shocker is <coughs> decent. Kind of C tier Spider Man villain, though, to be honest with you. Uh, Sinestro. Sinestro is uh, good. He's good. I can't put him higher because the Green Lantern movie kind of lo lowers him down. Okay, I have no clue who this person is, so. Uh, let's put her in. Who are you? Who are you? Because I have no clue who she is. Spawn. Spawn. Easily probably the best uh, superhero outside of the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe. So Spawn, for that reason, goes into best of the best. I love Spawn. Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen, after watching Across the Spider-Verse, goes into the... Hold on a second. Great tier. <laughs> I gotta scroll all the way up. My arm's getting tired. Spider-Man. I wonder where he's going. Toxic Trash. No, I'm just kidding. Spider-Man. Easily prob him and Batman are always in the conversation between the best superhero of all time. And there's no doubt about it. Spider-Man going right now to the top of best of best tier. Right behind the Joker. Yeah, that tier is just starting to grow. Squirrel Girl. She's okay. She's okay. Uh, Starfire? Starfire goes into the decent category. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, put, her, I'll put her in the good. She's good. Star-Lord? Star-Lord, I will also put in best of the best here. More specifically, calm. Uh, well, actually, no. All sorts of uh, Star-Lord goes into best of the best. A uh, great character. Oh, uh, oh, what's this guy's name? Oh, crap. Uh, what's the TV show called? Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, they were making a movie a long time ago with Michael B. Jordan directing it. Uh, shock something, shock something. I forgot what his name was. Uh, forgive me, I'm sorry. Uh, but he is a good character. I should... I don't know why. I'm just blanking out because I've been talking for so long. Storm goes into... The keep on <coughs> sorry keeps on going to the great here great character uh but she's pro probably one of my uh, no she's good uh Supergirl Supergirl goes into the good tier because of the Supergirl uh TV series so she goes there next up we got Superman you know I'm not putting him there. Superman goes immediately right into best of the best. He's one of the best superheroes of all time. Him, Spider-Man, uh, Batman, and... Um, yeah, him, Spider-Man, and Batman are always in the conversation between the best superheroes. So I'll put him right here. Next up, we have Taskmaster. Taskmaster, Black Widow kind of dropped his character down for me a little bit, but... You cannot deny he... I think he's underrated villain. He's underrated because not a whole lot of people know him. So, Thanos. Thanos, you know where he's going to. Josh Brolin himself. Thanos going into... Hold on a second. Even though he's kind of a copy off of uh, Dark Side, Best of the Best. You can't deny it either. 
Uh, Eric Draven, I have not watched The Crow, so I can't judge him, so he goes IDK. Thor goes, you know where he's going to. Thor goes right up into... Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Thor goes right up to best of best. You can't deny it. Two-Face. Two-Face for me as well goes in best of best. I know that might be a hot take for some people. Probably they would have put him great. But Two-Face, I think, is an S-tier villain, to be honest. I think he's uh, definitely deserving to be up there because he's very unique uh, with the two side of the coin, you know. Um, also, you got Venom. I got some Venom, 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 Venom. Uh, Venom goes... Oh, this is really tough. If I... No, he's top of great. I almost wanted to put him at best of the best, but I think there's characters I'll put ahead of him, so that for that reason. Why is there two Doctor Dooms? I don't understand. Okay, anyways. Uh, is this... Ironheart? Who is this? Or is this Vixen? I don't know. I don't know much about Vixen, so I can't judge her. Uh, War Machine goes into. No, wait. Actually, no, 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 no. Go back down. Go back down. Excusey. War Machine, go down there. War Machine, go. Stop it. Okay. War Machine goes underrated because now a whole lot of people appreciate War Machine. They just. Say he's the sidekick, you know. Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier for me as well goes as this might be a hot take as well, but the the <laughs> Cap America, the Winter Soldier helps elevate Winter Soldier for me. Wait, where did he go? Hello, oh there he is. <laughs> okay, Cap America, the Winter Soldier movie helped elevate him incredibly for me i'm putting winter soldier best of the best next up we got wolverine wolverine you know where he's going to wolverine best of the best probably the best anti-hero in all of the uh marvel universe so yep i have oh wait that's x23 okay i had to look down at the claws for a second X-23 goes into decent. I don't oh, I don't know much about her to put her any higher, but she's a good character. Then we got Zatanna. Zatanna! Also decent. Um, is that supposed to be Namor? I feel like that's supposed to be Namor. So Namor... Yes, that looks like Namor, I think. So, okay. Uh, name or, or unless if that's somebody else, that might be Sabretooth for all night, for all now. But, um, name or the submariner goes into the, keep on going, the great tier. There you go. Drax, wait, wait, Drax. Oh, I just had a voice crack, by the way. Drax, go back down to toxic goodness. I saw you trying to sneak away. Galactus. One of the most scariest villains in MCU. If they made him, in real, if he was alive in real life, we would be dead. Uh, Galactus, best of best. I can't wait to see him in the new Fantastic Four movie. Colossus, Colossus goes into decent. Um, I think that I think there's X Men I would put above him, so that's why it goes in decent. Dark Side, we know here where he's going. He's the 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 top the S villain of all S villains in the DC universe, right behind Joker. He is going into best of the best. He is more unstoppable than Thanos, probably, I would say. Um Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic will go. Okay, scoozy. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. This has hurt my arm. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh but Mr. Fantastic go, goes best of best. Great character. Ms. Marvel, she's fine. I mean, she, she, no, she's charming enough in the, uh, she's charming enough in, uh, the Marvel's movie, so I'll put her up there. Omega Man, again, haven't watched, uh, Invincible, so. Uh, Jean Grey. Jean Grey goes into, wait, where is she? Uh, she goes into the great tier, um, especially that Dark Phoenix storyline of 
also puts her up there. Power Girl, Power Girl goes into decent, decent. Raz al Ghul, Raz al Ghul, Raz al Ghul goes right up into uh, the great tier. Um, the whole entire League of Shadows storyline is amazing. Uh, the Thing, Ben Grimm. The Thing goes right into the go 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 the great tier. Also, I just realized we have no Human Torch on here. I just realized where the heck's Human Torch? Um, okay, next up we we already have Doctor Doom and we already have Shocker. So, Batgirl, you go into the great. Or, no, you go invest in the best tier. I, I think she's a uh, highly underrated character for the best of the best category. So, she goes right there. I wish we could have saw what the movie would have been like. Because, supposedly, it was good. Uh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Uh, oh, okay. Apocalypse goes right up into... Wait, what did I just do? Okay. Apocalypse goes right into the uh, great tier. Or does he go in the best of the best? Uh, he goes best of the best. He's second best uh, X-Men villain. And then finally, finally, we got this person, whoever this is. So we go there, go and who are you? Well then, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this long, 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 long video of ranking all these heroes and villains from the worst to the best on tier list form. Uh, be sure to let me know your list down below. And uh, with that being said, guys, I'll see y'all next one, everybody. Pa 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 p